Good morning. So I thought this morning I'd show you kind of what we do to get ready to go, you know, to different places. Uh, right now we're running the fuel out of the engine, out of the outboard. Usually, uh, usually we run the fuel out of it every time. Just to make sure the carburetor doesn't gunk up or whatever. Even though we'll probably use it when we get to the next place. Um, it's just kind of a habit that we try to keep. I usually put the gas tank in the dock box, the oars down below, the handle in the dock box. And then uh, before we did this though, we took Layla for a walk. So Layla had her walk. I usually hang her leash up, try to tidy up things, make sure everything's kind of in its place so that when we go sailing it doesn't go flying. I got kind of muddy. Layla got kind of muddy. Yeah. Um, and we also have a cup of... I've actually been drinking coffee lately. Okay, I'm ready for the outboard whenever you are. Next thing we do is we take... See, our dinghy davits, we haven't figured out how to balance them good enough to be able to raise the dinghy with the outboard on. It would be so nice to have that. So every time we gotta take the outboard off, carry it back there, which is very tricky. That's another thing. Every time Pete does this, he gets oil on him. One day that running back stay wasn't tight and uh, Pete went to hang on to it and he almost fell over, man. He was just like, oh my gosh. He had the outboard in his hand. And down below, I try to make sure everything's kind of in its place as well. We can probably roll these up too before. Okay, I'll do that. I started doing last night. I also make sure that everything's charged up, which I tried to do. Yeah, it's a hundred. got the dinghy and the dinghy davits. We got the dodger up. Pete is now, what are you doing? I just gotta raise this up. Help me? Help me raise this up real quick. Make sure the reef is out. Okay. Yeah, we're fine, Pete. Pulling up the anchor, my uh, what I could do is uh, motor forward a little bit. The wind switched. You can tell it's good holding here because uh, so usually we also um, before we start the motor, we check the. We check the oil, make sure everything's good. Yeah, we should definitely pull it up. We are kind of close to them rocks over there. Waiting for the GPS to connect. As soon as it breaks free, I'm going to start motoring forward. Hopefully I'll get this GPS connected before he gets cleared up.
half knots, real slow sailing. It's only four miles across to the other side, so. Take our time. No need to be in a hurry, really. No need to waste any gas. We kind of pushed a lot to get up here. And, uh, yeah. He's gonna skull us all the way to. <laughs> I'm sculling. Isis, Isis, what the? What? Isis, that's a shame. <sighs> Where are we going in that? Ben's picking up a little. We're going one nut under skull. Tied for nothing else. Just fall off a little and slowly point up. I sculled us in the wind. Pull in our, our uh, square sail lines. We're going to get some fuel and water. We're here at a place called Billings Diesel. And uh, Go back to the boat. Near the American flag. I know, I see that <laughs> on the island. And that's like a little island you can take your name into your name. I think that's what we go around. We used to be Yeah. But it's coming up right here. So yeah. this is the little town of Stonington. did some laundry. Now we're lowering the dinghy back down and we're going to take a little dinghy ride over to this town over there. This is the town of Stonington, a couple islands away from Acadia National Park or Bar Harbor, about to the west of the Acadia Park. There's all the laundry up and I'm uh, going to go get some groceries, some lobster and some blueberry pie. <laughs> She's gonna kiss you. She's gonna give you lots of puppy kisses. You're like her puppy. <laughs> give Layla a walk before we head into town. We figure if we walk her, she'll be happy and then we can leave her on the boat for a little while. You seen fishies? Huh? Go get them. Go get them. You're a good girl. Pretty and clear. Go swimming, go swimming, good girl. Go swimming, go swimming, go swimming. Yay! Yay. <laughs> 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 Right. So we went into the little Harbor View store. It's just pretty much a convenience store. And probably just about as good as you would find in the Bahamas, though. <laughs> it's kind of like how Bahamas stores are. Doesn't look like a tree. I wouldn't eat it. Look at the meat, it's not a tree. Yeah. 
It looks like a cherry tree, kind of. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the red ones. Oh. Yeah. They kind of look like cherries, but yeah. I don't think they they're cherries. Like cherries uh, yeah, don't. They don't look like cherries. <laughs> Oh, ah. so cherry tree has a stripe around it? See how the bands go like in circles around the park? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. A cherry tree. We gotta get some dinner out. That's some juices. Getting a few things at the local. <laughs> <laughs> um flavored brand. They got blue shine. Blueberry moonshine. Hmm. Nice dick. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> Ava found a comfy spot to lay. Pete. Alright, we're gonna chill out the rest of the night and we'll see you tomorrow.